Hi there, and welcome to Everyday Fitness with Lisa. I'm Lisa, this is Ella, this is Mitzi, and today we're going to be doing a park bench focused workout that you can do either on your own or with some of your favorite people. Uh, today I have Ella in her Thule Chariot, which I absolutely love. You can check out my Thule Chariot review just by clicking on the box at the end of the workout. My warm up for today's workout it was actually the walk that I had to uh, this park bench. I found one nestled in a little corner, um, but uh, my dog is super keen on playing ball here, so it's kind of nice to get a nice balance <laughs> for the family. So let's get started. First exercise I'm going to do today are tricep dips. So I'm going to do my first set of 10 repetitions, uh, and then I'm going to actually keep Ella awake and busy. Uh, and I'm going to just walk around with the chariot a couple times around the bench. Once I've done that, I'll do my second set. Okay, for this workout, it's going to be a level one workout, so nice and easy. Something that uh, you can do if you are um, just introducing yourself back into activity after you finish with your little one. So you can just keep your heart rate up by keeping moving. Okay, um, and uh, I'll give you modifications to try different ways of doing the same exercise. Hi, hey, buddy. Okay, ready? So. First set of tricep dips, ready? I'm just gonna keep my knees bent. If you wanna make this more difficult for yourself, you can put out your legs straight, okay? So legs bent at 90 degrees. We're gonna go down to our elbows are at 90 degrees and back up, ready? Go, one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, so to keep my heart rate up, I'm going to grab my little one and we're going to do a quick couple laps around the bench. Is that fun? And the rest that you have in between sets should be approximately the time that it takes to do one set total. So I find that three laps works for me and a Parker so that her sun, the sun is not in her eyes. Okay, second set of tricep dips. Ready, go. Two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, quick couple of laps. Mitzi, you coming with us, big girl? <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. And three. Awesome. If you don't have a little one, you can always do uh, marching on the spot or jumping jacks in between to keep your heart rate up. Are you ready? Third set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Come on. What? What's up, Ritzy? Yeah. And two. So again, if you don't have a little one, you can be doing some jumping jacks, or you can do walking on the spot, or you can do, be doing a short little jog. All right, the next exercise we're going to do are incline push-ups. If you want to make this more difficult for yourself, make the level that you incline a little lower. So if you're on a park bench, a little lower would be the front of the bench. Okay, I'm going to do an easier one. Now you can go higher. Just making sure that my body is a nice flat bridge. I'm going to go down to 90 degrees and back up again. Okay, we're going to do three sets of 10. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, and ten. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna grab my little one. What a beautiful day it is outside. I'm gonna do my laps the other way this time. There you go. You gotta catch me, Missy. Two. And three. Oops. Okay, second set of incline push ups. Ready? Go. Okay, third set of push-ups. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You gotta love off-leash parks. They're just wicked. So good for the dogs. Watch out, Missy, coming through. Passing out, trying to keep you awake. Imagine that, uh, <laughs> Last lap. All right. And the next exercise we're going to do are mountain climbers. So again, I'm going to use the top edge of the bench, the lower edge of the bench, and that just requires a little more upper body strength. Okay, so for mountain climbers, we're essentially just going to come up. Okay, now you can switch quickly like that or to make it a little easier on yourself, you can just lift one leg at a time and you're still working your core. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it from the other side. Okay, you ready? Go. One, two, and three, four, and five, and six. Mitzi, where's your ball? Seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Awesome. Ella's rubbing her eyes, gotta keep her moving. So let's do a couple more laps around the bench. Keep our heart rate up. Here we go. And one. So keeping our heart rate nice and high. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Oh, I'm doing a workout video. <laughs> Second set of mountain climbers. Go. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. Hi, little one. Nine. And ten. Awesome. Okay, keep our heart rate going. Here we go, little one. And, and two. It's so nice to get outside. I just love this time of the year. The fall and the change of the leaves.
All right, last set of mountain climbers. Here we go. One, and two, and three, four, and five, and six, and seven. Try not to get a slippery surface. Eight, and nine, and ten. Awesome, okay. And last lap. There we go. Ready, one. Come on, Mitty. And here we go, Ella. Whee! Yeah, two. I love this Chili Chariot uh, because it actually has interchangeable wheels at the front. So you can get a thicker wheel that's really good for um, jogging. Uh, it just helps it keep a little more straight so you don't have to be hands-on the entire time. You can take a couple of uh, strides without your hands on the bar and it will just go straight, which is so great. The next exercise we're going to do are squats. And what we're essentially going to do is get down to the point where we're almost sitting down. Okay, now anytime you do squats, you want to make sure the weight is on the back of your feet so you don't have your weight on the front of your feet because when you have the weight on the front of your feet, your knees are more likely to go further forward than your toes, which is actually kind of bad for your knees, okay? So you're gonna keep your weight on the backs of your heels and you're just gonna graze until you can feel that edge of the bench and then back up again. Okay, you ready? 10 repetitions is ideal. If you can't do it, that's totally okay. Do what you're comfortable with. Ready, go. One, I keep my hands out in front of me like this just because it helps with my balance. Helps keep my center of gravity over top of my toes. And five, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we'll go for a couple laps. Here we go. Keep that heart rate up. Keep that heart rate up. Good morning. And. Second set of squats. Ready? And go. One. And two. Hello. Two. Yeah. You think? Four. And five. Six. Keep your weight back on your heels. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Awesome. Next set of laps. Here we go. Let's go the other way. these exercises you can also do if you were to use um, a few stairs in your house so don't feel like you only you have to be outdoors to do this um, there's a couple of stairs on my deck that would also work so I could still be outside but in the privacy of my own home which is kind of nice uh, but it's also nice to get on the park bench beep 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 okay all right last set of squats you ready princess Okay, go. One, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go. Go, go, go. Good girl. One. We'll do one ab exercise after this, keeping in mind that we are working our core this entire time. So our last exercise, what we're gonna do for our abs, like I said, okay, I'm just gonna get my legs out in front of me and I'm going to do bicycles. So I'm gonna touch one elbow to one knee, opposite knee, and then switch. If you're more comfortable keeping your feet on your ground, you can lift one up at a time and then rest. Other up, and then the other up. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, and five, six, and 
seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. We're going to keep going. Eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, fourteen, we're doing twenty, fifteen, or ten for each leg. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay, keeping that heart rate up still. <laughs> Three more laps and go. One. Well, I haven't finished one yet. You know, sometimes I count to start off like ding, ding, ding. And that's probably why I lose count, too. How are you doing, Ella? And three. And second set of bicycles. Ready? Go. One. And two. And three, four, or eight, five, depends if you want to count in multiples. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. One more for good luck. Oh, yeah, awesome. Okay, here we go. Whee! And. managed to keep her awake so far that means I still get to do something productive otherwise in the house on my nap break okay last lap I think I got it right this time I'm creating a little tracker on these benches it's pretty awesome <laughs> depending on who you ask I guess last set of bicycles hi ready and go one and two and Three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. One more. All right. Lots of people out of the park today. Hi, puppy. One. Okay, let's finish off one. I can count, I swear. That's, that's kind of part of the beauty though, right? Is when you lose track of how many sets you've done and you're like, I'll just do another. It just feels good to be active. It feels good to be outside. Awesome. So for my first set of stretches, I'm going to do uh, my chest because we did a lot of plank work as well as some push-ups. And um, it's just really important to make sure you stretch those muscle groups that you work uh, the most. Okay, so I'm just going to use a point of resistance. Now this could be the inside of a wall or a window. I'm going to use this beautiful tree. Thank you, tree. Okay, and I'm going to put my palm on the inside and stretch away. So turning my shoulders to face the opposite direction and I should feel a nice stretch out throughout my pec. We're going to hold for 20 seconds. Ready? Go. One, two. Ella. Where's Ella? Hi, Judy. Hi, princess. You just chilling? Oh man, do those thumbs taste good, hey? Halfway there. And she's like, please kick my ball. And switch. I'm just gonna find the opposite arm. Should feel a nice stretch throughout my. Maybe that was a spider. I'm gonna pretend like I'm totally cool with it. Go. Ten, halfway there. Awesome. Okay, the next stretch we're going to do is for quads. So you can put one hand up against uh, that same surface. You can also use your bench. Okay, and you're just going to lift one foot behind you, grabbing onto the shoelace part of your shoe. Okay, and uh, you're just going to pull that foot towards your butt and press your pelvis upwards and you should feel a nice stretch throughout your quad okay go you just taking it all in Ella you just about to pass out just about to pass out what a beautiful day okay let's switch Just 
stretching is super important. You want to make sure that you elongate those muscles and stretch them out as much as possible so you can get blood flowing through them to help work out some of that lactic acid. And the lactic acid is that stuff that makes you sore uh, for the following couple of days. So the more you stretch, the less sore you feel, the earlier you're ready to, uh, to get back at it or feel like you can get back at it. All right, that's it for us today. Thanks so much for joining us from Ella and Mitzi and myself, Mitzi who has grass attached to her face. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel already, please do so, that way you'll get a notification next time we come out with a workout. And until then, wish you all the best and we hope to see you again. Bye.